Hey everybody, this is DJ Martin, church pastor here at Parker Ford Church. It's great to have you with us. Today we are continuing our ongoing midweek series during the season of Lent on different spiritual disciplines. We've been looking at spiritual disciplines through the paradigm of a house, and so we've talked about foundational or inward spiritual disciplines. We've uh, begun talking about visible disciplines, and we'll end our series in a few weeks talking about the dinner table or corporate disciplines that we shared together. Whether you're from Parker Ford or just joining us online, we're so glad to have you with us. Today we're going to be talking about the spiritual discipline of service. Before we get any further in today's topic, let's pray together and invite the Lord to lead us. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the one who sets the example for us. You are the one who set the example of how to serve. We're going to be looking at John 13, where the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, God incarnate, the Son of God, Jesus, the, the image of the invisible God, strips down, <laughs> wraps a towel around himself, gets down, and washes his disciples' feet, and gives this beautiful picture of what it is like to walk with God in the kingdom of God. To be a person of service is to walk with you in obedience and submission. And so, Father, today we just invite you to teach us as we engage this, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again, over the last several weeks, we've been looking at spiritual disciplines. We've been doing this throughout the seven Wednesdays of the season of Lent, each week focusing on a different spiritual discipline. There's foundational or inward disciplines like prayer, word, and fasting, which we've talked about. Then there's um, the visible house, that which you can see, or outward disciplines um, like solitude, which actually, solitude and silence with God, which actually leads us to deeper communion with God and with other people. And then today we're talking about the spiritual discipline of service. And then next week we'll switch to the picture of the dinner table, the, the disciplines that we share with other people, like confession and worship. We've been tracking with Richard Foster in his classic book on spiritual disciplines called The Celebration of Disciplines. And each week I've been bringing a quote about that week's discipline. This week, uh, the, the quote from Foster is this, As the cross is the sign of submission, so the towel is the sign of service. Let me read that again. I think it's so good. As the cross is the sign of submission, so the towel is the sign of service. In service, we must experience the many little deaths of going beyond ourselves. Service banishes us to the mundane, the ordinary, the trivial. In the discipline of service, there is also great liberty. Service enables us to say no to the world's games of promotion and authority. Service is what enables us Foster says, to say no to the world's games. We know that the world has all sorts of traps and ensnarements and games that are trying to suck us in. And one of the ways that we continually say no to that, to the way of the world, is to serve one another. Because it's, it's saying no to the me monster within us and saying yes to caring for others, loving others above ourselves. So we're going to spend the rest of our time really looking at John chapter 13, this famous passage about Jesus washing his disciples' feet. So I want to invite you to engage the scripture with me. Starting in verse 1, it says, It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash your feet, you have no part with me. Then Lord, Simon Peter replied, not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, those who have had a bath need only to wash their feet. Their whole body is clean, and you are clean, though not every one of you, for he knew who was going to betray him, and that was why he said, 
Not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set for you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly, I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Listen to what Jesus says in verse 15. He says, I've set for you, I I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Jesus washes his disciples' feet and then says, this is what I have set for an example for you. Do as I have done. Serve one another. Service is a spiritual discipline because it forms us deeper into the image of the Son of God. The more that we serve one another, the more that we care for one another, the more that we wash one another's feet, the more closely in many ways that we are walking with Jesus in his example. Each week I've been offering a weekly challenge based on the discipline that we're studying that week. So for this week's challenge, um, I want to ask you to do the following things. Whose feet can you wash this week? And I'm thinking metaphorically here. Maybe, maybe there is someone whose feet you can literally wash. Um, but from a metaphorical standpoint, who can you serve today uh, or this week? And service is most often not a glamorous thing. So think about a real practical need of someone in your life, maybe a neighbor or a family member um, or some, an acquaintance who uh, is in, in trouble or having a hard time right now, how can you serve them this week? Who can you serve this week? Secondly, pick out a special way to serve your community this week as an act of worship and submission to Jesus. Remember, he said, uh, Foster says that the cross is a symbol of submission. The towel is a symbol of service. So who and how um, in your community this week can you serve and take up that towel of Jesus and exercise and practice the spiritual discipline? And thirdly, each week I'm inviting you as you practice the spiritual discipline to journal about it. So journal about this experience and, and process it with the Lord. What did you learn about God as you were serving someone? And what did you learn about yourself? Did you like it? Was it difficult? Would you rather not have done it? Did it reveal things within you? You know, there, I've been in some situations, whether on missions trips or, or uh, different situations I was called to in the church that have been really uncomfortable, where I've been in a situation that was uh, really... Um, disturbing or very dirty or unclean or whatever and it it can be easy for me to want to avoid that situation it reveals something about myself why why am I having a hard time just loving the person in this situation why would I like to get out of this situation and so it's not just a revelation of God to the person you're serving but rather the great gift of service is that you as you serve God is revealed to you. So um, this is an invitation not to engage this from a self-righteousness standpoint that somehow you are embodying God by serving another person, although hopefully as you serve them they do experience the love of God, but rather as the person who's serving, the gift, the great gift for you is that God is revealed to you as uh, you humble yourself before him and, uh, and serve the broken. And so I want to invite you to journal about the experience. I also want to invite you to chew and meditate and wrestle through the following questions. Why did Jesus place such an emphasis throughout his ministry on service? Obviously, this story that we looked at in John 13 is by no means the only time that Jesus served. He was serving constantly, whether it was through acts of healing or praying or feeding. He was constantly serving. So why did Jesus place such an emphasis throughout his ministry on service? Secondly, how might practicing the discipline of service grow your intimacy with Jesus? How could you grow closer to Jesus as you serve others? I've found in my life that as I serve others, it actually helps develop an intimacy within me um, between Christ and myself. And thirdly, what are ways that you can build the discipline of service into your regular routines? As Christ followers, I hope that each of us are daily serving one another, are daily serving our community. So how can practicing this spiritual discipline, how can you put that into your regular routine as you live your life? 
Um, just a, a quick note, we have lots of local opportunities to serve, uh, both in the body of Christ and in our community. A few ways that we engage here at Parker Ford Church is that a group from PFC serves at the Pottstown Salvation Army on the fourth Wednesday of the month, serving a hot meal and uh, greeting and meeting the people who are, who are being served there. So I just want to invite you, um, we're, we're always looking for people to volunteer for that ministry. So if you'd like to engage once a month and come uh, feed a meal to hungry people and those many of whom are homeless, uh, come serve with us on the fourth Wednesday of the month at the Salvation Army. Uh, we also engage Operation 143, which is a ministry that helps uh, provide food and backpacks uh, for kids in Pottstown. So um, that's a Pottstown area. That's a great way to serve God's Kitchen, or Spring Forward Project, Outreach Spring Forward uh, Food Pantry. There's many ways to serve. These are just a few ideas. So I want you to wrestle through those questions, take up the challenge this week, and serve. Take up the towel, uh, get down on your knees, wash someone's feet, and experience the goodness and mercy of Jesus in your own life as you do that. Thanks so much for joining us again today. It's great to have you with us. Go with God. Be blessed.